So you know what I have not had a chance to do for you in a long time, or it seems like a long time? A full video walk around on an awesome Chevrolet Silverado. And today I have a 2022 for you, courtesy of Pro Chevrolet in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. And this is a 2022 Chevrolet Silverado RST Redline, a beauty of a truck. Let's get going. Alright, so here's the thing. I am doing this on my lunch hour. I've been trying to get a time when the wind isn't bad, but unfortunately I only have limited time, so I do excuse me uh, for the wind noise. But let's get talking about this truck. And one of the things I want to talk about right off the bat is I will talk about pricing on this 2022 because there is a slight increase, and we're going to get to that later in the video, as to how much this truck is from the base price compared to the 2021 model. As you can see by looking at the truck, obviously the 2022 is very much the exact, limited part of me, is very much the exact same as the 2021 Silverado, right? I mean, they haven't really changed much of these. We are going to see the change on those 2022 uh, refresh trucks I've been doing some videos on recently and check out the channel my channel if you haven't already done so um, but we won't be seeing those until at least spring you may be able to order them uh, towards the end of the year they're saying uh, you know late December and you'll see those in the spring so right now these are the carryover trucks these 2022 limiteds and honestly though what a great looking truck this red line is always been one of my favorites we had a black one in before but now we have it in the white and I really like the white because it shows the contrast and you can really see what you get when you are getting the red line package and let's basically talk about that first and foremost so rst if you're not already familiar of course is our mid one of our mid trim level uh chevrolet silverados right so it's going to come with a host of features definitely not a base truck and typically what that means is you know color match everything so from the grill to the bumpers uh door handles mirror caps so you're not getting you know a lot of chrome like we see in an lt or uh, ltz or high country okay so this is more of a sporty looking truck uh, with some options you can put on the inside. I will talk about what the overall price of this truck is right now though, for this 2022, but I'll show you how we, I'll tell you how we got there later. Actually, it's not even on the window sticker. This window sticker is so new. You can see it's 2022, but I do have the price with me here and it is 67,933. So basically $68,000 Canadian uh, for the one we're looking at right here. Now, the RST Redline comes with some of the following. Now, first and foremost, engine choice wise, all right? So underneath the hood here, you only have two engine options when it comes to the Redline. Let's talk about that first. And the two engine offerings that are only available for the RST Redline are the one we have in here right now, which is the 5.3 liter, if I can speak, the 5.3 liter, eight cylinder uh, dynamic fuel management motor. So DFM runs on any number of cylinders, can run a number uh, eight, seven, six, two, however many cylinders it needs. Uh, and it has a stop start technology as well. And this is made it to the eight speed transmission. Now you can get it with the 6.2 liter, made it to the 10 speed transmission, also with the dynamic fuel management. Um, as far as RSTs go for 2022, just a little bit of a heads up when it comes to underneath the hood. Um, the base motor was originally the 2.7 liter. Unfortunately, now the big, well, or fortunately, however you want to look at it, the 5.3 liter is now the base with the option of the 6.2 or the 3 liter for the regular RSTs. Um, and as of last year, the 2021s, you had the 2.7, the 5.3, the 6.2, or the uh, Duramax 3 liter. So now that we've got the engine choices, the 6.2 or the 5.3 out of the way as far as the red line, here are some other things. And I think right off the bat, we can see from the front grill. If this is a regular RST, this front grill would be all paint matched white. It is not, as you can see, we have the black bars running through and obviously the black grill there, but the black bars running through, uh, which definitely, you know, make it look a little bit different. Plus we have some black bezeling in the L high intensity LED headlights as well. Down below, you're gonna have the red recovery hooks, okay? Heading over to the side, badging is going to be red with, or pardon me, black with the red outline. I don't know if you can kind of see that. Uh, you're gonna see that here. Also, you're gonna see that where it says Silverado back here. And then as far as the RST itself, 
it just says RST black. Now, this one we have equipped with the multi uh, flex, I was gonna say multi, multi pro as a GMC guy here, but multi flex tailgate, six position tailgate. Uh, this is not a standard feature with the red line. Um, it is just an option to get with the RST uh, in general, or most of the, you know, most of the Chevy Silverados in general. Now, if you do get, however, the, um, the red line and you don't get this multi flex tailgate, the Chevrolet block lid lettering that's in the back, that'll be blacked out, okay? It'll have um, black inset in there. We also have the gloss black, high gloss black. And by the way, these are dirty. I didn't, I didn't have a chance to wash this truck. Sorry, guys and girls. Uh, but again, on my lunch hour, right? So 20 inch gloss black wheels with the red lines or red hash mark or whatever you want to call it. But the red lines there looks great. Uh, the black door handles, gloss black door handles, by the way, which would normally be color matched also. And we have right here, the black mirror caps with the nice red there. I don't know if you can read it, but it actually does say really hard to read. It says red line right there as well. Oh, better angle. Anyway, so it has the red line uh, there. Not to mention, I should have talked to this when we were in the back, you are also getting the bed protection package, which gets you the spray and box liner here. By the way, only available, speaking of boxes, also in the five foot eight box or in the double cap trim. They're not available in the six and a half foot or the standard box, okay? Um, and you're also gonna get the rear wheel liners as you can see there, that carpeted wheel lighting. By the way, I've had a lot of people ask me, why is that carpeted like that? Well, simple answer, is it really, well, first of all, it protects it, right? It looks good um, in terms of not being able to, you know, see the bare paint there, but it also keeps the road noise down a bit. So if you had a plastic, or if you have obviously just bare metal there, you're hearing the ting of, of, of the dirt and the gravel. Um, that is why right there it is carpeted inside there. Anyways, that is part of the Redline package as well. Another thing that is not on this one yet, because actually this truck has not been PDI, it's been not run through our shop yet, but you are gonna get the factory four inch round sport black running boards. That is part of the red line package. And I had to pause for a second because I needed to lift this hood up, or <laughs> the hood, I'm a tailgate, Jeff. Anyway, slip the tailgate up um, because I wanted to show you this. You're also getting the black exhaust tips, which I really like, I, especially on the white, right? Because you can really see that black exhaust tip uh, there at the back. So the black exhaust tips are also part of this red line package. But how about what else we've trimmed this one out to? Why is it $68,000 Canadian? We've added a few other goodies on this RST that I want to talk about mainly uh, on the inside. So let's go there. All right, so here is the back seat. And as you can see, yes, we've added leather. So leather front and rear to this RST. And unlike some of the higher trim levels, um, rear heated seats are not an option, but you can see that you have USB, USB-C, um, some vents down there, uh, charging ports. And what I really love, we have the storage package in this, right? So you can have things behind the seats. Of course, you've got your armrest with the cup holder. And then if you lift this up, which I really like, You've also got that uh, storage area down there as well. What we don't have in this truck, again, because it has not been PDI, there's not even an aerial on this truck yet, um, but right here, we'll have the all-weather uh, Z71, or not Z71, but all-weather uh, Silverado liners in the front and the back as well, which will cover the whole floor. But let, let's head out front next. Oh, and before we go to the front seat, one other thing I forgot to mention was the actual color. I, I did neglect to mention there's only three colors available when you get the RST red line, obviously one being the white, the second being black, and the third being that Quicksilver metallic or the silver. Okay, so another option, well, aside from the, th the fact we already talked to leather is we did add the bucket seats. And by the way, if you get the leather in the RST period, you have to get the bucket seats. By the way, the bucket seats option is only $685 uh, Canadian. I think it's a great buy, especially if you don't need that six passenger here uh, up in the front. And the leather package itself, which is called CAX, CXH, pardon me, code, uh, that is an option of $995 uh, Canadian, by the way. So um, I think both well worth it. Even for resale value, it's really nice to have that leather, right? Now, one of the things that I need to caution you of, if you're looking at this red line truck, this beautiful red line truck, it is not available with the Z71 off-road package. And I know some of you might not care about that, but let me just really quickly tell you what that means as far as the truck itself. So normally when you get a Z71 package, of course, you're gonna get the higher intensity air cleaner underneath the hood. You are going to get the skid plates underneath, the Rancho name brand shocks. But one of the big things that some people overlook is the fact that you did get the four low range when you get the Z71. This one does not have that. Again, for a lot of you, it might not matter. This train mode is more than sufficient for most people. You still have your two wheel drive high, four high, and your auto uh, track, which I really like. And of course, you've added all the trailer coming to this one, by the way, getting off the Z71 top there. Um, this one, we also have the Bose stereo system in it. 
awesome stereo system. We have heated steering wheel, heated seats, along obviously with the leather we've already talked about. We've added to this one though, the sunroof. So we have the sunroof in this one. Uh, you're gonna have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto in the eight inch color touchscreen there. Again, this is the eight inch color touchscreen, not the 13.4 inch coming for the refreshed. Again, this is a 2022, which 2022 limited. Uh, there's your heated seats. The auto stop start technology you can turn off right there. We have the power outlet to the back, which I didn't show you back there, but there is an actual power inverter uh, back there that you can plug things into your margarita mixers or, you know, spotlights, <laughs> whatever. Uh, we've added the trailer brake controller to this one as well. Um, that's about $350 Canadian. We've also added, um, actually, again, being a Canadian, we've added an engine block heater, which is about $195 Canadian and a really easy way to access your engine block heater. It's not underneath the hood anymore. There's a little flap right there and they include the cable, obviously, to give you, um, so really easy to use. By the way, fog lights are on this RST here as well. Okay, but I did tell you that I was gonna talk about why there is a price increase and what the price increase is going from the 2021 to the 2022 Limited, despite the fact that they're pretty much the same truck. There is a $2,300 Canadian price increase, but hear me out. When you actually do the math, it really only works out to a $500 price increase which is fairly reasonable concerning the market. And I'll explain to you why that is or how I've got that math down. If you're listening early, when I had that hood up, remember I was talking about engine choices and what's becoming standard? In the standard RST, the 5.3 liter for the 2022 Limited is your standard engine versus the 2.7 liter for 2021. That's a price increase of about $1,800 because if you wanted the 5.3 in 2021 in the RST, it was a $1,800 Canadian increase, right? So if you take $2,300 minus that $1,800, that's 500 bucks, right? So it's really just a $500 uh, price increase on the truck, not as much as you would think. Anyways, I love getting out here and be able to show you the trucks again. Um, thanks again to Pro Chevrolet for obviously providing the trucks that I do these videos with. Uh, we just got a couple more, actually. You got uh, some G 2022 GMC 84s, a 2022, I'm looking over there. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see way back over in here. Anyways, there's a 2022 um, ZR2. Uh, Colorado. Obviously, I'd like to show you that one uh, as well. So stay tuned. If there's any requests of trucks you would like to see, um, comment below. And as always, I'll be keeping up the speed with all the GM truck news on top of the walkarounds, on top of the tips and tricks and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. But anyways, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Until next time, take care.